Jason, uh, chintz back in New Zealand, and uh, we'll see her step out in a, an open sprint at Tauranga this weekend. Yeah, Aidan, look, she uh, she arrived back in the stables approximately two weeks ago from Sydney. Um, look, she was probably a little bit disappointing over there. She just struggled to measure up, and uh, I think they had a few troubles with it at the stables. But um, look, she's come back in pretty good order. She uh, she worked on the course proper yesterday morning, and you know she worked really well. Um, she's only in the Open 12 on Saturday, and that'll just be a nice lead up for Tiara if she can find her form again. Um, you know, she'd be very hard to beat her form in New Zealand before she left Australia was outstanding. So if she can recapture that again, um, you know, she'll be very hard to beat. Yeah, obviously, uh, twice group one place last preparation. That's the goal again. Will she have another lead up after this one before Tiara? No, she'll just go straight into Tiara after this, Aiden. Um, you know, she probably looks like she's more of an autumn mare. You know, her form back in New Zealand in the autumn was really good. You know, she was runner up in the Tauranga race the feature on Saturday a couple of years ago and she went on to narrowly get beaten in the Easter so she looks like an autumn mare and um, you know she's relaxed back well into the stables really well and um, you know fingers fingers crossed all going forward she should run well. Okay well what would the stable really want to see out of her this weekend? Look we'd just like to see her hitting the line you know um, if she can as long as she can show improvement and show that she wants to be a race mare again and she can get back out there and just show a bit of enthusiasm again and just run a nice race we'll be very happy. Okay, just a couple of uh, horses we wouldn't mind getting an update on. Now, Ella Eagle, uh, what, what's uh, he up to at the moment? Yeah, he's come through as Ella as he ran very well on Auckland Cup Day. You know, he's probably a touch unlucky. unlucky. You know, Rory probably just made sort of one small mistake on not staying on the fence and it probably cost him the victory. So he'll run in an open 14 on Tiara Breeders' Day and all going well, he can uh, click on, go forward to the Easter Handicap. Okay, and uh, the other one, just uh, Hooker Eagle, a uh, horse with uh, oodles of ability as a three-year-old. Yeah, look, he's just a very talented horse, and he's still very raw at the moment. Um, he's just coming along quietly, and he'll have a trial in Cambridge in probably two and a half weeks, and all going well. Um, he'll look to go to the Cambridge Breeder Stakes and sort of around the middle of April, and then, um, you know, if he seems to come up well, a possible Brisbane campaign will be on the target for him.